What is up YouTube, Nick's here, back with another video, and this time, we're finally looking at the Paladin from Base Online. Alright, so, some of you guys will probably already know this, I'm not a big fan of healing classes in like, any MMO. Um, so yeah, I left it to the last one, but... I know there's a lot of people out there that are looking forward to playing a dedicated healer so hopefully this video helps you guys out okay so this is just going to be an early game overview um, like always it's going to be in the same format as all the other uh, class overviews that I've done and yeah uh, I'll only be doing an early game overview um, I don't want to get burnt out and play like each class to max in the Japanese client plus the game is going to launch in less than a month's time from now so with that being said let's get into it so the paladin is a melee dps spec and it uses a shield and a mace to deal damage uh, it's considered the healing class of bless along with the mystic but from what i've read online and just generally being in game it is a class that is focused on single target healing um, on the forums, I've heard a lot of people say that the Mystic is the class that you'd want to play if you want AoE heals and things of that nature. So, as of right now, the Paladin should serve as a single target healer. And yeah, it should be the one that you should pick for 3v3s and not large scale PvP, right? Small scale PvP, you go for usually a Paladin. And obviously, when you're looking at 100v100, mystics are going to play a much better role when it comes to healing in terms of damage um they do like sufficient amount of damage like just enough to get through questing and stuff it's not amazing uh however they do make up for it uh with a lot of healing obviously um and that's kind of how like all these classes go right if you have a high dps class it's obviously not going to have a lot of utility when it comes to healing or cc's but as you go down the DPS scale, your healing and your defense kind of goes up to make up for whatever damage that you could potentially deal. So as we get down to classes like the Mystic and Paladin, obviously the damage outputs are going to be uh, much, much, much lower than uh, what you'd expect from a mage or, or a ranger. Um, so yeah, I would put it, at least in the early game, their damage would be about 70% of the type of damage that a guardian deals um but this is again in the early game so doesn't really indicate how they're gonna play out late game now in terms of playstyle, um what i've seen in game uh most of the abilities are damage dealing abilities which kind of makes sense right you want to be able to get through all of the leveling with just doing sufficient amounts of damage um so the early game skills aren't really indicative of how they're going to play out at end game but from what i've read online most of the skills that are in the other trees do revolve around single target healing so yeah you will be the healer for the most part in terms of the type of damage that you deal uh, majority of it is single target but you do have a couple of abilities that have a chance of resetting their cooldowns so they're kind of spammable and others which are just flat really large aoe's um they don't do a lot of damage the aoe abilities but um hey i guess it's still spread pressure regardless right if you're doing damage to five enemies then if you're in like a big pvp situation that is quickly going to add up considering the fact that um the aoe skill is spammable as well it's only restricted by mana and not cooldown so that's kind of going to be it you're just going to be staying back healing people up um yeah in terms of mobility you kind of lack it from what i've seen in fact you don't really have a ability that allows you to um, move in and out of combat quickly you kind of just walk around or run around slowly for the most part when it comes to armor the paladins do wear uh, plate armor so they are going to be pretty tanky when it comes to the amount of damage they can take so yeah that's the kind of trade-off that you're making can't really deal damage but it, you kind of make up for it when it comes to um, damage mitigation so to speak 
when it comes to class availability they can be played by all the races in the game so no discrimination there i guess okay so before i get into the skills um i want to let you guys know that again just like the other videos um, I won't be leveling each class to max. This is going to be an early game impression. It's just to give you guys, you know, a quick rundown on how the class kind of plays out. Give you guys a general feel of the class. And yeah, just let you guys see the skill animations and all that jazz. So hopefully it gives you guys a good idea of how the class would play. And yeah, not leveling them to max. I'll be doing full guides once we get a NA release. So... With that being said, let's get straight into the abilities. So your first ability is going to be Blow. Um, it's going to serve as your right click. And yeah, it's a pretty simple ability. It chains into um, Hit and then Swing. Sorry about the translations there. Kind of sound retarded, but that's what it does. Um, and it recovers for 5% of your max mana if you land the third um, skill in the chain. So that's Swing. Um, the interesting thing about this skill is after you go into the third uh, skill in the skill chain, you do actually deal 10% more damage. And this is going to be kind of like a reoccurring thing when it comes to uh, the right clicks and the abilities that the Paladin has. They have a lot of um, damage increasing buffs built into quite a lot of their skills so yeah that's your right click so next up we have endure this is going to serve as your mobility skill um not really a mobility skill when it comes to the paladin though what it is is basically a cleanse as well as you just basically put up a shield that mitigates uh most of the damage um so what the skill actually does is on activation it consumes 30 energy and if you hold on to the skill so if you keep pressing the button down um, it consumes 10 energy per second um, and during that time you heal yourself by x amount um, depending on the level of this ability and your character level while you have this activated even if you just press it um, all current cc's will be lifted and during its animation, if any CCs are applied to you, they'll also be mitigated. And yeah, uh, this is kind of the only healing ability that you get early game. I really like the animation of it. Um, I feel it's much better than the Guardian's um, shield ability. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Looks cool. Um, so yeah, that's going to be your only healing ability, um, at least in the early game. Okay, so next up we have Punish. This is going to be your first uh, low cooldown ability, which deals a decent amount of damage. Again, nothing on par with even the Guardian, but it's a damage ability regardless. Um, along with the damage that it deals, um, if the enemy has a debuff called Chains of Punishment, they will receive an extra 10% additional damage from Punish. And if the enemy has Doom or Shred on them as a debuff, this effect can actually spread to nearby enemies um, which is again something different that kind of haven't seen with the other classes and yeah it's got a pretty low cooldown of five seconds in terms of animations it's basically just an overhead swing nothing too fancy and yeah that is going to be your low cooldown damaging ability our next ability is judgment so this one was kind of interesting it's a ranged ability um, yeah, it's got an effective distance of 25 meters, which is pretty damn far, and it basically just launches a beam of light um, onto your enemy, uh, dealing a decent amount of damage, and enemies that have stigma or stance will have doom applied to them for 10 seconds. This doom debuff can stack up to 3 times, and it lasts 10 seconds, so... This is the ability you kind of want to start out with when it comes to combos. Apply this and then Punish is obviously going to do that 10% extra damage since you have Doom applied to your enemies. Another cool thing about Judgment is the fact that it's got a 7% chance of resetting its cooldown. So I had this happen to me while I was questing and it was pretty interesting. I was able to do it three times in a row. Um, just good RNG, I guess, for the first time in my life. So yeah, that was pretty interesting. You never know when you roll a good freaking number and you get your cooldowns reset. 
Guillotine is going to be your next damage dealing ability. Um, this is actually the highest damage dealing ability that you do have early game, but it does come with a relatively high cooldown of 18 seconds. Um, so once you attack the enemy, it again deals a decent amount of damage and the enemies that have stigma or sentence will have shred applied to them so i'm guessing stigma is probably a a debuff that you get from another ability uh from one of the other skill trees so the ones that do have that will get shred applied to them for 10 seconds and shred can be stacked five times so you'll consistently deal physical damage to them it has an effective range of 5 meters, unlike all your other uh, melee ranged abilities, which only have an effective distance of 4 meters. And in terms of animations, it's probably one of the, uh, one of the more decent looking abilities um, that's in the Paladin's kit. It summons like this holographic hammer that you just slap the shit out of your enemies with, so it's pretty satisfying to watch. And yeah, that is going to be Guillotine. And as your last ability, you have Punishment. Um, so this is going to be your first AoE ability that you get, and it's a pretty large AoE. Um, it does damage to enemies um, within a five meter radius around you, and yeah, enemies with Doom receive 10% extra damage. So again, um, as I mentioned earlier, Paladin, when it comes to damage, you kind of have to build up all these debuffs and use an ability like Punish or uh, guillotine to get way more damage output. Uh, the interesting thing about this ability is the fact that it has no cooldown. Um, it's only limited by your mana consumption, which is not very much. It it only uses 8% of your mana plus 20 MP more, which isn't a lot. You can kind of spam this again and again. It's one of the more interesting looking abilities. Again, it works like the Guardian's Ground Pound. Um, in terms of animation, it's pretty cool looking um you basically just have this massive aoe where you have all these blue sparks igniting uh, or falling down from the ground i can't really tell yeah and it hits in a pretty damn large aoe so again it's going to be great for world pvp and stuff like that that is pretty much all i wanted to cover in terms of the abilities um if you're looking for a healer class uh, more specifically a healer class that will be effective in smaller groups uh, I would say the Paladin is your choice. From what I've read anyway, the healing is pretty damn insane when it comes to single target. And yeah, um, if you're looking for a pretty damn tanky class that can heal a shit ton and do a lot of damage mitigation, then this is probably your pick. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully uh, this video would help you guys pick your first class when it comes to the NA launch. And... Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I always read you guys' comments. Some people like really help me out when it comes to increasing just the quality of the content and stuff. And that's pretty much it. Like if you liked the video, dislike if you didn't like it. Subscribe for more blessed content if you're new. And I'll see you soon. Peace.